vote. Howie. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I am collecting my breath and I just, I need some oxygen right now. I'm like freaking out right now. This is so crazy that you know what I have to do! This is brave, this is bruised, this is who I'm meant to be, this is me. Welcome. Thank you. What's your name? My name's Amanda Mena. And how old are you, Amanda? I'm 15 years old. 15 years old? <laughs> yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. What do you do? Do you sing? I sing. I love singing. You love music? Mm hmm Is it something you do as a hobby? Does it make you feel good? I feel like my experiences really connect me to, like, music. I just, I, I love it. What is your experience that, uh... I was raised in Dominican Republic till I was four years old. So when I came here, I didn't know a word of English. Really? And I got bullied a lot. So um, oh. all that kind of gave me tough skin. I just want to ask a question. And I, I do hear this a lot, unfortunately. You got bullied. What got you through that whole period? I think it was really music and my mom. Are you nervous? A little bit. A little bit? Yeah. You ready to wow us? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, young lady. Okay, thank you. Best of luck. With so your beautiful voice. I mean, you have a beautiful voice and you're a beautiful girl. Thank you. I loved it. Well, I gotta say, you sang Natural Woman. You are a super natural talent. Thank you. <laughs> Simon? Do you know what you have, Amanda? You have genuinely natural soul. Thank you. You really, really do. I mean, that's not an easy song to sing. This is an audition we're going to remember for a long time, Amanda. All right, Mel B, what do you think? Oh, my gosh, where do I start? That was just incredible. Thank you. Oh, I've got all goose pimples all over. I mean, it's just crazy. I love you. 
I love your voice. And this is what I'm gonna say to all those bullies. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you? Nervous. <laughs> it's okay. And what's your name, please? My name is Michael Ketterer. Where are you from? I'm originally from East Tennessee, but right now I live in Orange County. And tell me a bit about you. What do you do for a living? I'm a pediatric mental health nurse. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And what are you going to be doing for us? Are you a singer? Yes, sir. So this is kind of a different direction, you coming on a show like this, Michael. So tell me what the thought process was. What's, what's the ambition, the dream here? Well, um, my family's my reason why I'm here. My wife and my six children. Six, six. children. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, one of the things that happens, especially because my children came out of foster care, when you're surviving, you can't dream. And that has been one of the most rewarding things is providing them with a home and a safe environment where they're free to dream. That's nice. And so I'm here because I want to show them that if their dad can live out his dreams, then nothing's impossible for them. Good for you. OK, Michael, well, listen, we're all rooting for you. Thank you. Michael, you know what? When we find singers on these shows, is it about being technical or is it about being relevant? And sometimes, for me, it's just about being real 
and a surprise, if I'm being honest with you, because you were so nervous, I was concerned for you. But I think sometimes actions speak louder than words. Welcome to America's Got Talent. How are you? Um, a little bit nervous. That's okay to be nervous. That's totally understandable. What's your name? Courtney. And how old are you? 13. Oh, 13. Wow. Um, what's your favourite subject in school? Music. What kind of music? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you're very sweet. And I'm guessing you're going to be singing for us? Yeah. Listen, don't be nervous. I know this is a big stage and there's lots of people here, but you're here for a reason, so go for it and good luck. Thank you. Thing. Oh my gosh. You are not from this era. You're from a whole different era. Yes. And I'm a huge Janis Joplin fan. And there's a story, if you ever watch the documentary, Clive Davis, he goes to the Monterey Pop Festival and he sees this young girl that nobody has ever seen before, that nobody knows. It was the first time Janis Joplin got signed. And that, would, that changed her life. Do you know that story? Yeah. I'm not Clive Davis. I'm Howie Mandel. And I can't sign you to a record deal. The only thing I can do for you, young lady, is give you...
thank you so much. Thank you so much. No, thank you so much. Oh my God. You are absolutely amazing. I've never seen anything like that. Can we give her some love? best I've ever seen. I am gobsmacked. Amazing. See, that's natural, right? She come on beforehand and she says she's scared she's going to get a buzzer. She thought she was going to get a red she buzzer? She was going to get a buzzer. <gasps> you thought you were going to get a red buzzer, like get sent home. And the complete opposite happened. Yeah. That's my golden buzzer. I, I'm so jealous. <laughs> I'm so jealous! I knew you could do this. I knew you could do this.